the Hyuga clan was considered the strongest clan for many years, and today, I will analyze their power levels. Himawari Uzumaki, although she does not have the last name Hyuga, could be a candidate to be the heir of the clan. Although she is still very young, she has great abilities. She was able to faint Naruto with a single blow. Hanabi from a young age showed great qualities surpassing those of her older sister, but obviously less than Neji. Since Neji was a prodigy of the Hyuga clan, it could easily defeat Hinata in the Chunin exams. Boruto so far does not seem to possess any traits of the Hyuga clan since his dojutsu is the Shogun, but his power level in base form is this. Ohedo participated in the Shinobi World War, assigned to the Konkuro Division, and thanks to him, they detected that the explosive clay was from Daedara, being able to avoid many casualties. It isn't specified if Ohedo is a Jonin or Chunin, but in the absence of information about him, I will assign him this power level. Iroh Hyuga is indeed a Jonin, but in the series we saw him fell in his mission to retain Naruto when he acquired the Kurama Chakra Mode. Hinata was the one who should have been the heir to the clan, but she gave it to her sister Hanabi because she did not meet the requirements to be a leader. She is a shy and pessimistic girl, but when it comes to defending loved ones, she shows great courage. Kohiuga was Hinata's bodyguard. He is a Jonin, and although we never saw him fight, he must have a considerable level of power since he must protect the heiress of the Hyuga clan. Tokuma Hyuga, a shinobi who according to Mata Aburame, has one of the best Byakugan of the clan in terms of vision, since he was the one who managed to see the great amount of Zetsus that were underground, and thus be able to escape. This unnamed elder is the father of Hiyashi and Hisashi. His power level is unknown, but he was formerly the head of the Hyuga clan, so despite his age, he would be quite strong. Neji was the one who should have been the leader of the Hyuga clan because of his abilities. He was a genius, even belonging to the branch house he could develop exclusive skills of the main house. Unfortunately however, Neji met an untimely demise, saving Naruto and Hinata, so he was not able to reach his maximum potential. If he had lived, he would have been one of the most powerful ninjas in Konoha. Next on the list is Hanabi, the heir of the Hyuga clan. When Boruto claimed to have awakened the Byakugan, Hiyashi decided to put it to the test with a sparring match. However, Hanabi worried about her father's back and the lack of a strength that Hiyashi would have with her nephew. She decided to substitute him in combat. Boruto managed to get Hanabi to fight relatively serious, but he was quickly defeated. Hanabi is very skilled in the use of the gentle fist. She also knows the secret techniques of her clan. Hiyashi noticed that Hanabi's Byakugan was really powerful, almost like Neji's. Hiyashi Hyuga was the next head of the Hyuga clan since he was born first. He was an exceptional shinobi, and he proved it during the fourth shinobi world war. Hizashi Hyuga was Neji's father and Hiyashi's brother. Being twins and being born second, he was part of the branch house. His power level was higher than his brother's, but having the curse mark, he couldn't do anything against him. He was an exceptional shinobi, seeing as during the fourth ninja war, Kabuto resurrected him. Finally, Hamura Atsutsuki, being Hagoromo's brother and the most distant ancestor of the Hyuga clan. Regarding his power level, he is very equal to that of his brother, but in the anime, we could see a fight in which Hagoromo ended up defeating him. So, Hamura is a little weaker than his brother. If you like this video, you can watch this video about the Senju clan, or you can watch this playlist with my best power level videos. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!